Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys a little tech tip. It's a new loop that I'm using on my heavier wire when I'm making my shark traces. So often when you work with this heavy steel, 200, 250 or 300 pound nylon or, or carbon coated steel, it's very difficult to twist and work with your hands. So I've got this new loop that I use. Um, I've called it the lazy man's loop because it's so easy to do and I think every now and then I get a bit lazy to do traces. So this works very well for me that I've developed. I've tested it, I've caught some big sharks using it and I've never had failures. So I'm gonna show you guys this loop and maybe it'll work for you. Okay, so basically all you need for this is crimps. The most important thing about this crimp, it must be big enough so you can put the wire in double. Um, I'll show you guys how it works now. So a nice big crimp, obviously your, your hook. I'm gonna use a circle hook 10 on this specific trace. And then we've got our a nylon coated or carbon coated steel. Um, this is 200 pound. This is what I like to use for my sharks. All right, so let me show you how I do this. As I said, it's very, very simple. Hence the name Lazy Man's Loop. If you're in a hurry, or you're on the beach and you quickly want to make a trace, this is the easiest way to do it. And I know it works well. Um, my first trace I actually made like this, I got a shark of over 200 kilos, pulled it very hard, and the trace came out perfectly. The hook was in the corner of the mouth, no problems, and my little crimp lasted and didn't pull. All right, so put our steel here, it's gonna get a hook. Get one hook out there. Put that one side. All right, and then we need a crimp. down there all right and there's our crimp okay so basically now you take your steel trace all right so you enter your ivy hook from the bottom so basically hook showing down I take this trace wire twist it around the shank and go back out through the eye from the top all we've done is just made a loop around the shank of the hook. You basically just pull everything tight and get that loop right against the eye of the hook like that. So it's nice and tight there. And then I'm going to take my little crimp and slide it onto my steel trace. So put our crimp on and then run all the way down. And then we put it over both the tag end and the steel itself, so over both. I pull it down and I leave about five mil gap so I don't want to put it right at the bottom I lift that crimp up about five mils all right so we've got that gap of about five mil or so take my pliers and pinch the crimp on five or six places be very careful you don't actually pinch your the wire by mistake and don't damage your wire while you do that all right so that's done and i'm just going to cut the tag end off now all right and that's our lazy man's loop with our crimp over both the wires looped around the shank loop and you've still got the the right shape you want on a circle loop so when you get the bite it'll slide into the corner of the mouth and do the circular motion which a circle looks got to do so it looks very simple and maybe not strong but it's very very strong we've tested it and it really really works like a bomb and there's no way that will pull if you use a decent quality crimp and make sure it's in properly something else you can do if you are worried that it might slip where you've crimped it on is actually twist it for a few twists three or four times then put the crimp on and put it on and then it'll be even stronger